Welcome to this Windows channel and it's Monday, April 25th, 2016. This is the Tech News Update. And today in our news, we have Google and Microsoft. You know, they were on pretty much a feud for the past few years and, you know, um, having all sorts of legal actions against each other. And uh, basically, you know, it, we could see how both were not really liking each other. Well, it uh, seems that after a little meeting last week, Google and Microsoft has settled their differences and now even there's talk of some partnerships in certain areas, which is really interesting. And, you know, I think that it's also a good thing to, you know, look forward and maybe have interesting ideas and products and services thanks to the fact that now, you know, maybe they could work together instead of fighting all the time. So uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ford CEO in an in interview uh, last week, or rather this weekend, I believe, has said that um, in, in a question where they were asked, uh, he was asked, what do you think about other manufacturers maybe making cars? And he kind of hinted that he really thinks Apple is working on, on a car. You know, there's a lot of rumors about an Apple car, and those rumors have been there for a long time. Um, but, you know, we're not really sure. Is there such an idea at Apple to make a Apple car? Well, Ford CEO thinks, yep, they are working on an Apple car. Android, something interesting is happening, happening with uh, the Google Play and Android uh, apps. Uh, because they are now extending the API and making the um, kind of opening, you know, widening the ability of it to um, have Android apps, it seems that not only will Chromebooks soon have over a million apps available, but apparently it's coming to Microsoft Windows. So apparently you'll be able to play some Google apps through your Microsoft Windows. Now we're not really sure exactly how virtualization or could it be through the Chrome browser simply, but it's going to be an interesting idea uh, for sure and apparently they are very seriously working on that. So, But no date yet as to when this is going to happen, but it's going to be interesting for sure. Especially, uh, you know, with the uh, kind of the ability of uh, Windows running Android apps that was killed by Microsoft. Well, it seems that after all, we're going to have the Android apps. OneDrive, if you are over the limit, if you are over, if you're not paying and you're over five gigabytes right now in your storage of OneDrive, Microsoft is giving you up to the month of July to lower that limit and be below the five gigabyte storage limit, or else they will delete the files for you. And of course, the same goes through to any subscribers like the Office 365 subscribers that have one terabyte. Uh, some people had unlimited, so they actually had more than one terabyte online. Well, Microsoft says same thing up to July to f bring that below one terabyte. Always amazes me. I always think, how can someone really upload more than a terabyte of data? That puzzles me. You know, my, I have a one terabyte limit because I have Office 365. And I'm not really sure that I use more than maybe 20 or 30 gigabytes. <laughs> so that's uh, kind of interesting. And finally, in our last bits of news, Facebook has been reporting that their Facebook Tor or Onion page is now getting a million visits, even more than a million visits every month. For those that don't know what that means, well, it's simple. There is a um, part of the internet called uh, the Onion router, or we use you know a browser like Tor to access that. It's it's what we call the dark web. It's a side of the internet that is um, encrypted. And Facebook thought it was a good idea to maybe do a page that will be accessible through that encrypted internet. And of course, one of the reasons is to let people that might not be able in the country where they live to say what they want to actually do it now because what happens is that they simply are um, 
you know, anonymous through this web page. So if you're using the Tor browser, um, Facebook does have a access login through that Onion router. So it's at Facebook.onion. And so it's interesting to see that the surface, the service is actually picking up at more than one million uh, logins every month. That is actually quite cool. So that was pretty much our tech news for today, Monday, April 25th, 2016. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, let us know. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Give, you can also subscribe to our channel, which means that you'll know when new videos are posted, typically almost every day. Thank you for watching.